Welcome to section 7 of Fungi. This is our fungi overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Sporthrix shanky, which you can see right here. This scene will take place inside of a prison with this guy holding a shank. Shank sounds like shanky and is here to help you remember that this image is all about Sporthrix shanky. If you look closely at the shank, you can see that it's made from a branch with thorns on it. I guess you have to be resourceful in making a shank when you're in prison, right? Anyway, this reference to branches and thorns should help you remember that this fungus lives on vegetation and is transmitted through thorn pricks. Next, notice that he fits the stereotype of a prisoner with his prominent tattoo on his arm. As you can see, it's a butterfly tattoo, and this is here to help you remember that Sporthrix shanky is a dimorphic fungus that is a mold at cold temperatures and a yeast at warm temperatures. Now you can see that we've added the ringleader at the end of the hall that this prisoner is attempting to shank. If we zoom up on him, you can see that he appears pretty comfortable in prison. He has a cigar in one hand and some flowers in the other. He must be in charge here. Anyway, the cigar in his mouth is here to help you remember that in the yeast form, Sporthrix shanky exhibits cigar-shaped budding. This is an image of Sporthrix shanky in the yeast form, and as you can see, the yeast are quite elongated rather than circular shaped, and they appear kind of like cigars. Now you can see that we've added more plants to the scene with little fruiting bodies on the end. These are pot plants, and the prisoners have become pretty territorial over who controls the pot. This revolting prisoner guy intends to overthrow the ringleader and take control of these pot plants. In any case, these plants resemble the morphology of Sporthrix when in the mold form. So in the mold form, it exhibits branching hyphae with rosettes of conidia. This is an image of Sporthrix shanky in the mold form. As you can see, there are hyphae with conidia on the end, for example right here. Hopefully you recall from the chapter on microbiology fundamentals that conidia is just a fancy word for saying fungal spores. Alright, now let's talk about clinical features. As you can see, we've shown one of the ringleader underlings attempting to stop this revolt, but he doesn't seem to be very successful. In fact, the prisoner with the shank cut up his arm pretty bad. Look at that gnarly wound in a line going up his arm. We've shown the wound this way because it resembles the lesions caused by Sporthrix shanky. So Sporthrix shanky presents as erythematous lesions along draining lymphatics that later ulcerate and bleed. This is an image of Sporthrix shanky affecting this patient's arm. And as you can see, the lesion tracks along lymphatics in a somewhat linear pattern, and in this case, the sores have become ulcerated. Now we've added a wounded prisoner and a stretcher. You can see one of the prison employees is tending to this guy's wounds. The stretcher is our symbol for a compromised immune system, and is here to help you remember that disseminated disease is possible in an immunocompromised host. All right, now let's talk about treatment. Remember how we mentioned that these plants are pot? Well, pot sounds like potassium iodide. So these plants are here to help you remember that this infection can be treated with potassium iodide. Finally, if we zoom back up on the ringleader, notice that he's wearing a shawl with the letter A on it. And just like in the last several videos, this is here to help you remember that it can also be treated with oral azole medications, such as itraconazole. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 27-year-old female presents to the physician due to a rash on her leg. She states that she first noticed the rash two days ago after working in her garden. Physical examination reveals mildly tender erythematous papules extending from the ankle up to the knee. A tissue sample is obtained and viewed under the microscope. What morphological feature will most likely be seen? A. Branching hyphae with terminal conidia. B. Elongated oval-shaped yeast cells. C. Spherules filled with endospores. Or D. Budding yeast that resemble a captain's wheel. Okay, let's go through some of the key points from the question stem. The patient developed a rash on her leg after working in the garden. This is important because it's suggesting that she was exposed to thorns, which is a risk factor for Sporthrix shanky. Also, she has mildly tender erythematous papules from the ankle up to the knee. In other words, she has lesions draining along lymphatic channels. Together, these findings are highly suggestive of Sporthrix shanky. So the correct answer is B, elongated oval-shaped yeast cells. This is another way of describing cigar-shaped budding. If we zoom up on the ringleader from the image, recall that he has a cigar in his mouth right here, which is to help you remember that in the yeast form, Sporthrix shanky exhibits cigar-shaped budding. Again, this is an image of Sporthrix shanky in the yeast form. A is wrong because this is describing the mold form of Sporthrix. Remember, Sporthrix is a dimorphic fungus that is a mold at cold temperatures and a yeast at warm temperatures. Therefore, outside of the human body, you could see Sporthrix in the mold form. However, once it enters a host and causes infection, the human body warms up the organism and it begins to reproduce through budding in the yeast form. So the mold form would not be seen in a tissue sample taken from a patient, only the yeast form. So A is incorrect. C is incorrect because this is describing the morphology of coccidioides. However, gardening and lesions that drain along lymphatics don't fit with this, so C is incorrect. D is a reference to Paracoccidioides brasiliensis and is also unlikely to cause lesions after gardening, so D is incorrect. So again, the correct answer is B. 
elongated oval-shaped yeast cells. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Sporthrix schenke.